This video continues the sequence on the use of conditionals in MATLAB and the focus is now going to be on switch statements. So we've established that we can use script files for sequence of operations and we've said that it's useful to be able to write code that depends upon the outcome of a conditional decision or operation. And the previous resources have introduced the conditional operations if and while. And here we're going to extend this to switch statements. And again, as in the previous two resources, we make the point that the coding is largely intuitive. It follows reasoning that's common to humans and therefore it should be easy to understand and code. So, concepts in a switch statement. The key idea is that you've got multiple possible outcomes dependent on a single state, okay, a single measurement or a single value. So multiple possible outcomes based upon a single state. So here you'll see the example we've got. If the room temperature, so the chosen state or measurement or value is room temperature, if the room temperature is very cold, then the action is to turn the heating on maximum. If the room temperature is slightly cold, then turn the heating on medium. So you'll see I've used the same state, that is room temperature, and depending upon what I see, I get two different actions. And I've got some more alternatives. If the room temperature is slightly hot, turn the heating on very low. So then now that's a third possible action depending on the value of the state. And finally, if the room temperature is very hot, turn the heating off. So you'll see we've got a number of different outcomes or actions dependent upon the value assigned to a given state. So multiple possible outcomes or multiple possible actions depending upon a single value. So let's look at how this is structured in terms of MATLAB code. So the basic code follows what you see we've got in this box here. You'll notice the top statement is switch followed by the state, the variable that is your state. So you just go switch and then whatever the variable is, switch state. After that, the first line is going to be the first case or the first option. So the first option is the state is equal to condition 1. The second option, the case is equal to condition 2 and so on. So we've got a box here. So in essence, what the code does, it asks, is the state equal to condition 1. If it's equal to condition 1, then do the corresponding code. Is the state equal to condition 2? And if so, do the corresponding code. And if all your cases fail, you'll see this otherwise. So if none of my cases above are true, then do whatever code is in the otherwise. When I've completed that code and got to the end statement, I then carry on with whatever code follows. Now, a bit of an aside here, switch statements will do text comparisons automatically, so your state could be a text or a string, and you can do this without using string compare.m, whereas <coughs> if you're doing if and while statements and you want to compare text equality, you really need to use string compare. So, for example, create a logical variable string compare a, comma b, and g will be logical true if the text expressions in A and B are identical and otherwise logical false. So if you're doing if and while, you need to use string compare with text comparisons. With switch statements, you don't need to. So some demonstrations with MATLAB. So I've got two different switch loops here that you can look at. So the first one, this top one, you'll see that the variable or state that I've chosen is A. So I'm going to investigate A. So this first line says, in essence, it means if A equals equals 2. So case 2 can be interpreted as, is this value A equal to 2? Case 0 can be interpreted as, is A equal to 0? Case 1, is A equal to 1? And then the otherwise, if we've got other values. Down at the bottom here, you'll see we've illustrated that you can do switch statements on strings. So here I'm doing a switch on a variable called text test, which happens to be a string. So here, this is basically saying if text test equals bad. 
So it's going to look in text tests and say, is this a string? And is it a string which has got the, the um, letters bad within it? Then you can see the next one, is the text equal to good? And otherwise, we'll get something else. So let's demonstrate this code in action. So there's our first MATLAB window, and there's the second one. So you can see, here's our code. Oh, something went wrong there. I don't know what went wrong there. Oh dear. Okay, so create a few spaces. So you can see here we've got a equals 4. I'm going to insert that by running my F9 statement. And then I'm going to run this switch loop. And basically, it's going to say, is A equal to 2? Is it equal to 0? Is it equal to 1? And here, you'll see it's come with the fourth one, the otherwise. The value for A is not in the cases stored. Now, alternatively, I could try something like A equals 1. There we go. And then I could run this switch loop again and see what happens. And you can see now it said perhaps. And you'll see the perhaps corresponds to case 1 and A was 1. What about this text test? You'll see I've given it a value of bad. So now let's run this switch loop down here. What do we expect to happen? Well, you can see that the case is bad. So it's going to display input is bad. If I change that text test and, and call it something else, so instead of bad, let's call it bad34, which is a different variable altogether. So now if I run that, what do I expect to happen? The input is neither good nor bad, so I get this otherwise statement. So in conclusion, we've demonstrated the use of switch statements in MATLAB, and these are useful when you have multiple different possible outcomes dependent on the assessment of a single state. So different outcomes, single state. One particular issue with um, switch loops is you can compare strings as well as numerical values. And although we've not shown it here, you can nest while and if conditions within the cases of a switch statement, if that's appropriate.